in June of 2011, uh, I went to Cholatika, Honduras on Revival Tabernacle's mission trip there. And we were at an orphanage in Cholatika, and I was kneeling down on the ground taking photos of everybody in our group interacting with uh, the children at the orphanage. And all of a sudden, uh, this little guy just kind of sat down on my knee. Uh, our entire visit at the orphanage, he just sat there. He stayed by my side. He didn't want to go anywhere else. He didn't want to do some of the other things. He just wanted to be right there with me. And ever since that happened, we got back from that trip, and I just had couldn't stop thinking about that little boy and all the children at the orphanage. And at that time, God laid an idea on my heart. Why can't we collect items here, such as stuffed animals? Why can't we have children make cards to be sent to the orphans of the world? And that's kind of where this idea was born. It kind of festered in my head for a year. I thought about it. I had all these signs that I was supposed to do it, but I knew the timing just wasn't right. This year we returned to Cholotica and I was completely overwhelmed with love for all the children there and I said, you know what, God wants this project to move forward. So I'm making this video, this little announcement to announce that a new outreach called Father's Hope is starting. Father's Hope means that God provides hope, or God is father to the orphans and he provides hope to them in so many ways including through this outreach. The official kickoff for the outreach is going to happen on April 20th of next year, but efforts are getting underway now to touch the lives of some orphans in time for Christmas this year. We're collecting stuffed animals, we're going to have children make cards to be sent to the orphans in time for Christmas, but the biggest need right now is for stuffed animals. Uh, the animals can drop, be dropped off either at the office where I work, the Standard Journal at 21 North Arch Street in Melton, or my friend Vicki Eberhardt is creating a box which will be placed here at Revival Tabernacle where the small stuffed animals can be placed. When we returned from Cholatika this year, I knew it was time to move forward with the project, and one of the hallmarks of the project is involving local youth in projects designed to raise money to help fund shipping the items to the orphanages around the world. Uh, that's going to be the biggest cost of the project is covering the, the cost of shipping to get uh, the cards that the kids are going to make, to get the, item, the other items that are going to be collected to be sent to the orphans several times each year. Uh, the biggest cost is covering the shipping of those. So we've, we're announcing today that on April 20th, a concert is going to be held right here at Revival Tabernacle. It's going to be a Saturday evening concert, and it's the big kickoff announcement, the big kickoff event for this outreach. The concert itself is going to feature local young adults in their teens and 20s who wish to perform a Christian song or two. So right now, what I'm looking for as far as that is concerned, I'm looking for kids in their teens, young adults in their 20s, who want to volunteer to be a part of this concert, to share their love of Christ with the community, and uh, to perform a song or two to, to show people how much they love Christ and to share their talents with the community. A free will offering will be taken at that concert to, to support Father's Hope. I believe this project has the potential to, to grow and expand in the future, to touch the lives of children at various orphanages around the world, and to also touch the lives of individuals right here in the central Susquehanna Valley who become involved with the project. Uh, this is designed to be a community project, to reach out across the community, and to draw in people from across the community who wish to become involved in touching the lives of orphans around the world. I guess you know you've arrived when your organization has established a Facebook page. Well, I've established a Facebook page for Father's Hope, so make sure you go on to Facebook, like Father's Hope. I'll keep you updated on there on various things we have going on. Uh, is things move forward with the concert we're planning as we continue to look for stuffed animals and other items. Make sure you like Father's Hope on Facebook. Make sure you continue to pray for this outreach that it moves forward. And please, either send me a message on Facebook or track me down here if you want to become involved, either with helping with the concert on the 20th, uh, or if there's any other ways that you want to become involved with the project. 
The main goal here is to touch the, as many lives of as many orphans around the world as we can. 